Hi everyone, welcome to my new science makeup channel. I'm gonna explain the science behind all of these favorite products and then instruct you on how you can get this new 2016 look. So come on in and let's see what happens. I always start my look with the Blemish Balm Cream, AKA BB Cream. This cream was first developed by German dermatologist Dr. Christine Schramme to protect her patient's skin after facial peels and surgery, and later became very popular in Korea. This product works in multiple ways as a moisturizer, primer, foundation, and even sunblock. So when I forget to pack my sunscreen, I sometimes spread it all over my body and neck. Ginger life. I'm going to now put on my eyeshadow using the blue palette to match my blue eyes. The main ingredient is mica, along with many other ingredients seen here. Mica is a sheet silicate mineral. The reflective and refractive properties of mica make it ideal for shimmery makeup. What's my trick for making sure my beautiful eyeshadow stays in place all day long? Boron nitride, duh. Make sure your shadow includes its essential compound in its hexagonal form. It really adheres to the skin, absorbs oil, and provides a nice, pearly sheen. I like to go with larger boron molecules that are 20 microns in size because they offer more light reflection. But if you want a more matte finish, look for boron nitride particles that are smaller, between five to eight microns. The more you know. <laughs> to really make my eyes pop, I'm going to line my top and bottom rim with black liner. Ancient Egyptians used coal, which we now know contains lead, which is poisonous but researchers hypothesized that they may have included lead intentionally. Chemists sampled the Egyptians' eyeliner and found lead salts that aren't found in nature, meaning they had to synthesize it. To see if it had any health benefits, scientists added the salts to human skin cells and found that the stress led to a body immune response. So maybe the Egyptians used lead to prevent eye infections. Luckily, I don't have to worry about lead in my liner and just have to focus on making my eyes pop. To complete this sultry eye look, I'm going to put on a couple of coats of lash extending mascara. Many people, when they look at my lashes, comment on how long and lush and quirky and cute they are. And I say, thank you, that's so kind of you, but I really have the science of mascara to thank. Many mascaras contain microfibers that are made of polysaccharide polymers that attach to one another. This allows them to build up on the ends of lashes, creating that extension effect. I'm now going to add a stunning brow gel. Applying makeup to your brows is an easy way to balance facial symmetry. Subconsciously, we appreciate facial bilateral symmetry, basically meaning that the left half of your face is as equal as possible to the right half. While it is commonly believed that symmetry is a sign of good genes and therefore good health, recent studies are now suggesting that this may just be due to our innate drive to appreciate beauty, as seen here. Finally, I'm going to complete this look with a beautiful color that will help me travel through time and space, back to fuchsia. The main ingredient in the color is disopropyl dimer dilanoleate. That sounds like a mouthful, but it's just a diester produced from the reaction of isopropyl alcohol and dilanoleic acid, <laughs> OBS. This common has very little potential of being toxic or carcinogenic, as it is insoluble in water and is lipophilic, meaning it will sit on top of your skin without absorbing into it. Yay. Perfect. Done it. Slaying this look. Thanks guys, that wraps up my first ever science makeup tutorial. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and of course Pinterest, because I definitely have Pinterest. And subscribe to this channel for even more awesome science videos. Peace.